Hi ladies and welcome back to Dip Nails and Wigtails and today we have a dip video. I'm going to be showing you what came and what colors are in my Rebel Nail 2020 advent calendar. So if you're wanting to be surprised on that, I would click off this video now until after the 25th because we're going to open up all the colors today. Um, I did, I swatched for you guys and I never swatch. Of course, they're not as pretty as some of those professional swatchers. They're just the regular swatch sticks. That's all I had. But you're gonna get the gist of it. I did swatch using the gel method, so none of the colors that I seen are glow colors or anything like that. So they didn't do anything good there. Let's look at day one. So we have a beautiful shimmery, don't get me to lying on trying to explain the colors. I will pop up pictures of each one. That way you can see in case it doesn't show good. But this color is really pretty. It's got some red and gold glitters in it. But this is day one. <clears throat> color two is this pretty green. I have no greens, so I like it. I don't know if I'll use it, but I think my daughter will. Um, it doesn't have any shimmer, even though there's a glitter on it, but that's just from me swatching because I did the gel method and there might've been a glitter on my gel brush. Okay, number three is this beautiful, I don't know, swatched, it's watermelony. And I'll show you in a second. And it does have shimmer, beautiful shimmer. I love this one. And why I say it's like, it's very watermelony. And it has gold glitters, maybe silver. Again, I will put in pictures. I've already spilled this once, so I'm not gonna spill it again. Number four is gorgeous, by the way. I almost used this one. It's like a navy blue base, like chromey color. I mean, I really do think you could chrome this one, but I don't know, it's beautiful on its own. It has blue green glitters, kind of hollowy looking when you move it. And on camera, it's not gonna pick up the beauty of any of these colors. Apparently I didn't dust this one off when I was done. But if you look at the bottom, this would be a matte, basically. It is beautiful. But that's number four. <gasps> number five was a good Christmas color. And I think that's really the only time of the year you could use it. So it is this red based glitter. It has red glitters, green glitters, gold glitters, and maybe silver. Let me look at the swatch. No. So this is what it looks like underneath. So pretty. But that would be day five. Here is day six. Day six is just a pretty, I don't know. Let's see. It's like, it's not mauve, but it's not maroon. It's like truth. But I could be wrong. Some of these just all look the same. It's got pink undertones, definitely, but it is like a mauve -y. There's the bottom of it. I did top coat the bottom just to see what it looked like. So I was like, maybe the way I'm doing it with gel changed it from what I'd seen on other swatches. Anyway, that is day six. Here is day seven. It is a really shimmery blue. It's a darker blue done with the gel method, but this color is pretty and I don't have any mini blues. I love the shimmer. I know it's not gonna pick up on here, but here's the bottom. See how you can see it? This is a really pretty color. I can see myself using this. I swear the glitters in it are like pink and purple and they're like micro glitter. They're tiny, but that is day seven. Here is day eight. Day eight is like a basic color that I would use. It's like a brownie mauve. Day eight is pretty. It's my kind of color. Now, again, I did it with the gel method, so it's it may look a little bit darker. I've noticed when you do that, it can be a tad bit darker. Number nine is this beautiful shimmer gray. It is a light gray with kind of like a purple base or undertone. I don't even know if I'm saying those words right. This is the top. And it has a beautiful shimmer. But if you look at the lid, and to me the lid always tells a lot. It has like a purple shimmer to it. So I think and it's beautiful. It looks like eyeshadow. <laughs> like loose eyeshadow. But that's number nine. 
Number 10 is this beautiful chunky green glitter. I think it would be cute in like a uh, Christmas Manny. I'll show you what it looks like. It's like a hollow green. It's got some pretty glitters in it. That might be too close. See that? I mean, that's pretty. I think, I don't know, you could do a green on green mini. Maybe. Even throw the Christmas one in there and just be all kind of Christmassy. Maybe that's why I always have to get my inspiration elsewhere because I'm not good at picking up colors. But that's a beautiful color. Number 11. Oh, sorry. I just scared my dog to death. It's the color I don't, the only color out of this whole advent calendar that I do not like is this. And the only reason I think I don't like, I'm not a pink color like this type of pink, but it's almost identical to my Hawaiian mystery pink. Okay, so this is, and they're both shimmery. This is the Hawaiian mystery one, and this is it. But do you see together? Oh, my ring light. They're, this one's a little darker. I mean, it's basically the same color. Even on camera, this picks up a little bit darker. One out of 24, not to like, is not bad. Day 12 is gorgeous. It is a shimmery purple. Let me turn my light back off. Let's see if that's better. It is a beautiful shimmery purple. I have all these purples that I bought and I have not used any of them yet. And it has, it has like just silver glitters. I don't think there's any other color. They're beautiful. It's a really pretty color. Wait, that is day 12. Day 13 shelf's a little wonky. But it actually would be my day 11 shelf. This one is a color I know I will use because I love Olaf. It is like a corally. Why is the light going to be so mean to me now? What did I do to you, light? It's very Ola-ish. Aloha. Very, very pretty. That is day 13. Day 14 is this disco ball color. Now, until I swatched it and looked at swatches, I did not realize this is a very chunky silver glitter, but the base is gold. And you wouldn't notice that by looking at the jar, but it has a gold base. And hopefully I'm popping up so you can see. Yeah, you wouldn't even know that by looking in the jar because in the jar, I'll just show you. Hopefully we don't get a disco ball on my desk because I have some projects to do here. Do you see the gold base? Unless you shake the heck out of it, you're not going to see that gold. Day 15. Um, I don't know. It's like a brick color. It did swatch kind of dark again because I use the gel method day 16 is this gorgeous silver based hollow chromy color but what's weird and this is 16 right this is the one that you can chrome it has very it's very hollowy but when you look at it in real life it's like this gunmetal hollow I don't know if you can see the glitters that way I mean it's a it's a beautiful color Day 17 is a very shimmery like burgundy mauvey and I'm sorry I'm horrible at saying what the color is okay day 18 I'm actually wearing day 18 you can get her out of the jar let's see if I can show you it's like, you can't pick up the glitter on camera, but it's this beautiful, I call it sand, shimmery sand color. I do know, oh, you can see it right there. It is darker than Calica, but the only reason I know that, and I don't have Calica, is because I've seen people ask for it to be compared side by side. But it has glitters in it, very micro. Um, but anyway, that's day 18, and out of all these beautiful colors, that's one of the boring colors I picked. I will be taking this off. I'm not happy about this mani. It's lumpy. You can't see it on here, but I would, there's a lump on that one. Well, the light's making it look a little bit better than it is. 
by the time I got done with that mani, I was just over it. By the time it got to filing and buffing time, I was done. 19. <laughs> Is this orange. And again, this reminds me of the Hawaiian mystery colors brighter this is the hawaiian orange but i just felt like they were like these two are are like you know they're one of a kind of colors and then they kind of redid them in the event calendar so i guess maybe they were trying to put some summer fun colors in there but it's like we basically already had those but it is what it is that's day 19 day 20 is the other color i picked to wear it is this very dark um, burgundy. I mean, I try to put these where y'all can see them. Um, it's a pretty color. I think it looked really good, um, matte. I can see the bag. Again, my swatches are horrible. Day 21 is this bubblegum pink. I do not have a color like this, so I was glad to have it. It's like Queen and Prima but more bubble gummy. I mean, it's a pretty pink. I could see myself wearing it, even though I'm not pink, but look at that, boom. 22 is my lucky number, and it's a beautiful color. It's like this midnight purple, chromey color hollow. I will show you how gorge this color is. I mean, and I get purple and blue when I look at it. It got all over my swatch stick, I'm sorry. There is the other side. Wait, eh, try to be like a beauty YouTuber, or, or hopefully the picture I insert is better than me trying to show you. But this color is pretty. I'm, I'm just wondering, can you chrome this one also? That's day 22. It's very pretty. They did a lot of shimmers this year. I did not get the event calendar last year though. I didn't have any points and I just couldn't be spending 150 and at Christmas time. Now, um, 23 is like a snow globe color is what I'm gonna call it. It is a white powder and it is opaque with two dips with silver glitter. So it's like Sparkling Co. Snow Globe, but it's just silver glitters. And it's pretty. It's, you know, like a lot like sand, which I'm calling sand, which is day 18. They both have the micro glitters, but you can see there's more silver. Maybe there's uh, hollow colors in it. I don't know. Very shimmery there. Very iridescent, like a highlighter that you would put on your face. That is day 23. Day 24 is Gorge. It is a color I did not have, and I almost bought a color like it, and I can't remember what color was like this. It's like this pretty lavender, creamy purple. Um, and hopefully my swatch looks better. That would be it on the underside. I mean, it's a beautiful purple, very pretty. But that is day 24. And if you want to know what is in day 25, and just for the record, I looked at this first before I looked at any of the dick powders. I'm like, what was the gift? I already took it out of the box. It is a Revel Nail manicure set. Um, not anything I will use, but I may gift it to my daughter. She thought it was cool. Probably put it in her stocking for Christmas. So... That was the gift. I was hoping like for the gloves or something or maybe a mask since, you know, it's COVID. But no, it's a manicure set. But I do think that they plan these like almost a year in advance. So maybe COVID hadn't hit yet. But they knew people needed masks for dipping. Anyway, there she is. She is pretty. They did really nice with the box. This is kind of how my Christmas colors are themed. I like just traditional Christmas. Beautiful, it is sold out. Now, is it worth $150? If you did not have any dip powder and then you needed a collection really fast, yes, it would be worth the 150. But is it worth 150 just to spend that much? If you're like me and you have points, yes, um, I did not. And if you're splitting with someone, then yes, it's worth it. But 
there is a color in there in my opinion for every season i could have done without the pink and the orange but besides that i wish there would have been glow colors my heart is broken if you look at how much you get and for the price all right so i got my ipad and we're on the revel um page so a one ounce jar is gonna cost you $14.99 and there are 24 one ounce jars 15 times 24 is 360 so you are getting $360 worth of dip powder for $150 so I mean that's a good deal you're getting $210 worth of savings so you're saving a lot so I say get it if you need a collection. Again, I'm so sad that there was not any glow colors or sun changers. Like, why Rebel? But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give it a like and have a great week.